Hello, this is Dalen 75 Games. Welcome back to another Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2 Way of Life. I am King Jurgen the Wise. I think I just got that new title in the last video. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm wise. What, why or how they gave me that. Maybe because I've made a lot of good decisions keeping my kingdom together. I'm not sure. Uh, keep in mind, though, these two are also German. Uh, I wouldn't actually I haven't even taken a look at this. Uh, could we? Does your claim an Artois? Artois? Um, Artois? I don't know. Uh, it's de jure. Vassal King Jurgen's the Wise, which caused enough for war. Now he's got to be Catholic. I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not afraid of the French. Um, uh, my focus is I want to go up north and take these three places. But I'm just looking at this. Uh, so de jure war. These two would be in my name, I think. You pray, yeah, because I'm king. That that's something I can do after these um, going to the north. So I can take this and then shore it up. I don't really have any more territorial ambitions to the west after that, um, other than maybe Bavaria, which this would be considered part of it. Uh, yeah, so uh, I want to connect these lands to mine, basically. And uh, this place, let me see him. He's just a count, actually. Is this a different one? No, it's the same guy. I'm not sure why he's... He doesn't even qualify as a duke, I guess. Uh, allies, zero. Oh my gosh, that would be an easy, easy fight. Okay, so, um, whoever, I think I'm actually going to go into Holy War for Holstein after all, because it does, there's no complicatedness of somebody else just getting it uh, from within my realm. It's talking about giving it to people who aren't in charge here, um, so I don't, I'm not really positive that I'm going to even get it. The good thing is that we just defeated the Norgar army. Uh, Swiftviard is also in this war to take this spot, so we are already at war with them. It's not going to... That's basically the strength of the of the north. Although these... Let me see. Are they even... What religion are they? Oh yeah, this is Suna Minusco, all these places. They're not even considered Germanic. The only other one that we're not at war with is Denmark. And if they come in, I'm sure our 7,000 soldiers will be able to over overwhelm them. Okay, so we've already defeated them in battle. I'm not... I'm not worried. Uh, altogether... 5,000, 6,000... 6,000... Uh, 7,000 with our retinue. Uh, we are a little under strength, but 500 for our... Mil our 500 in each. We're about 1,000 we need to recruit. And do we have somebody doing that? Yeah, my uh, brother, half-brother. Yeah, he's a marshal. 27. Actually, the best I've ever had. He's out there training troops in Wurzburg. And let's see. Technology... Don't have a thing. We, uh, yeah, technology's coming so slow now. It'd be nice. We're gonna go to cavalry next, and then heavy infantry, then light infantry, then shipbuilding last. Okay, let's do it. Holstein, run by a little kid. <laughs> Six years old. Well, we're about to end that. So, the very bottom one is Holy War. Uh, wait, before I do that, I want to see. Our moral authority is also really good. So, 95.6, I think it said. Now, the only problem that could possibly happen, it's only happened once, I did a holy war against the Germanics before, and Poland, for some ridiculous reason, came into the war, and, um, yeah, destroyed my army. I have no idea, that was probably about 150 years ago, I have no idea how that seemed possible, because they're not Germanic, they're Slavic over there. It makes zero sense. Okay, so let's, uh, bring up all the army. We're missing 600. I think it's because of my half-brother's, his, uh, place is... Vikings on it. You can't even take it, by the way. And the reason they can't take it is because it's like a 1600 defensive force and only a 600. Uh, what I read on there is said that they'll have to abandon the siege until they get more reinforcements. So that's just how it's described. We're going to meet in Brunchwig. One, two, three. Oh, we got forces going right through. Where that's not at all what I want. Okay, you guys go here. Here and then go over to Brunchwig. <sighs> yeah, for some reason it does a auto save a few days after you just load the game up. I'm not sure why. Siege of Udenard. They cannot take us. They have abandoned it already, but then another force came come in. No, another force has stayed. It wasn't a uh, Vaster Botnian fleet. Um, okay. Uh, of Lubeck has joined Keg Ragnar of... Who, who the heck is that? Oh, it's this guy right here. <laughs> We're, we plan to take him out next, actually. Like, right after this. He's got a thousand. That's good if he's in this war. This will make it really easy. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not really down with what I'm seeing here. What is my Marshal? Six. Okay, don't even put him in the fight. We lost somebody. What the hell? Spymaster. Wigrich, Duke of Cone. Uh, he's 13. My wife is 12. 13. Study technology. Let's put him in Rome this time. I think the last guy I've been putting into Constantinople. So all they have to do to win this war is take back. They're the ones defending. This This is their spot. All they have to do is put all their army in there and then defend. Let's see. Uh, can I call in? I've got four people that say they, they'll come into the war. I don't want to do it, though. Uh, this is not a war that I want to call them in for. The real war I want to call all my allies in for is against uh, Bohemia. Okay, so they're stupidly they in so makes no sense. Okay, uh, let's try raising up the. Yeah, I knew it was for my brother, half brother's place. Another 652 soldiers, definitely worth it. Hey, what are you guys doing? Did I cancel that order somehow? Oh, I think it came. These are recent recruits. Now that I did it, we're still almost we're 500 less than we should have actually. You do have to watch this. Sometimes the Vikings move from spot to spot. Uh, it looks like the Duke has raised his army. Uh, we're going to have over 7,000, actually. That's an enormous amount. Okay, uh, that being said... Okay, Catholic is fine. Holstein... Get off that, please. We don't need the Chancellor there, because we can declare a holy war. Um, fabricate claims. I'm not sure where the heck to put them. Maybe in Baden... Uh, I might have to pick apart B uh, Bavaria piece by piece. With my allies, I'll be able to do it. Are they at war with somebody else? They're fighting somebody. Oh, they're hot. Uh, somebody's tried raiding them. <laughs> it's hilarious. Waiting for this last unit. Okay, 7,342 soldiers. Not bad. Are they still reinforcing? Yeah, 19 a month because I think our, yeah, our retinue was under strength. Well, they should run in terror now. been a long time. I wanted to take Hamburg for a long, long time. We can go here. This should uh, terrify anybody, any of the north, northerners. The looks of the war score went, shot right up. They took it back. Uh, it's right here, 25. 25% war score, 26. It's just going to keep going up slowly. Uh, since we've already defeated the combined armies of the north, I believe, um, I'm not sure if, we've def if we actually fought Svipyod's army. Now would be a good time to do it. I don't mind fighting them. It's my income mic. We're still in the green. Total of 18.28. We are 2.1... 2.79 per month because... We, uh, it's gone down, of course, because of the size of our army. It says how much it costs. Monthly costs, just for that, 6.47. Oh, yeah, I was talking about sitting on my laurels for... That's bad. Uh, there's a couple dukes at the top, which I'm worried about. Brabant and Saxony. And... Brunswick. Uh, okay. I've I've already put my spy master and my chancellor. I've moved them. Okay. When can I move them again? April twelfth, January twenty ninth. We're gonna have to nip this faction in the bud. I hate that term actually. Hate <laughs> saying that. Nip it in the bud. You shall be my high almoner, and I shall send you a gift. And that works okay. Now it's the save. This, uh, I can't see them doing anything. I mean, it's possible Svipyard can march south with 8,000 soldiers. They did win against Norigar. Norigar, I don't even know how to say it. There's not... You're missing a vowel. Norgr. Norigar. Norigar. <laughs> King Borkvard of Denmark. Nice name. <laughs> Reminds me of that Bort license plate from Bart Simpsons. Okay. We've been attacked in Holstein. By what? Oh, I guess they raised our army right into it. It's just crazy. Uh, request your honor against the uh, East Poor of Bulgarian Revolt. This is the Byzantines. Yeah, okay, well. It's just a Bulgarian Revolt. They won against Serbia quite handily. And Bulgaria looks like it's going to be a small fight. They should be able to deal with it. Okay, what about their war east for Armenia? I think that. No, they're not at war with them anymore. I think that they won. I'm not sure what they got out of it. 
But anyway, back to this fight. We're slaughtering more Germanics. Okay. I guess I can raise the speed. I'm just a little little concerned that it is possible that Fitbjord could bring in a large army south. We have no fleets of our own because we have no coastal domains. Uh, 46. I just... Can I... It, it should be possible to... Uh, here it is. Raise local levy fleets. There. I just wanted to raise up a few. Let's go and put it over here to keep an eye out. But then against Fipyard, it doesn't really like to do that. Fip We're not in a war with Fipyard with this. Yeah, it's just Denmark. Anyways, this will let me see what Denmark is up to. Decisions can be made. Conscript merchant ships? I've never seen that before. With holdings overseas, my realm has quite a bit of merchant shipping that can be conscripted in times of war for a tidy sum of gold, of course. 50 gold, 20 ships arrive on the Gulf of Heligoland. I'm not interested in that. We do have raiders. Oh, it's in my spot, so no one will do anything about it. That's a bit nasty. 1152 raiders. Denmark does not seem to have any kind of military force. I don't know. Uh, war ended conclusively because he. F this is the third time the AI has cheated. So he converted to Catholic. Seriously, that's just wrong. Well, if it ended inconclusively, doesn't that mean I should be able to declare war on them immediately? This is the third freaking time. I wish that they would stop doing that. I really, really do. Chaplain, of course, he uh, he's not a heretic. Let me see. <laughs> sure he's not a heretic. Hey, get over there, please. Thank you. My liege, he's since attacked me when I tried to spread the holy faith in Brug. I barely escaped with my life, and now I'm severely wounded. This is my court chaplain, Brug. Really? Where... Is that right here? Bruges? It's Lollard. So is this, and just just this one. We're going to have to convert it. Okay, let's disband. That is a real piss me off. We're still at war, though, with them up there. Make sure they haven't landed a large army. It does look like Norger is coming back, and Svipyard a little bit. Uh, where's... what's this? Norger. Army of Kings Verker, Svipyard. It's 1,200 soldiers. I don't know where... Let me see. Does it go up through all the battles? Victory. Our side, a victory. 2,400 versus 109... Or five. Uh, that's a good victory there. But then what happened to the army? It's, oh, this is me kicking Norger's butt. Svipyard is over there. And I don't know where our defending army is because this is not enough. Unless they're in the boat. There's 20 galleys out there. And it does kind of look like they're retreating. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. You know, the army's disbanded. Let's see what we can do against this mother effer. Uh, same thing as before, just the claims. He's a court chaplain of Cell. Now, what does this say? If we win the war... See, this guy gains the county full scene. Uh, if if Peter Engelbert or of the same dynasty, or King Jürgen the Wise's de jure liege of petty kingdom of Holstein, of which I'm not. So, who is this guy? Ludwig the Wild at court and cell. Ludwig the Lion, Count of Cell. Now this guy, I could, because he's already a count. So I am his liege. Uh, or if he is, is de jure liege of county of Holstein. Lud will also become vassal of King, okay. I think we should go with that one. We're going to get one out of it. And what is this guy? Count of Cell. What's the difference? Ludo of Cell. Count of Cell. Steward of Brunswick. It's the same guy's name. Why is there two different things? Anyhow, let's go with that. You're not getting out of this. We're taking you down. Important decisions to be made. I don't want merchant ships, thanks. This is to my... Well, I'm just going to try to go with my retinue on this one. I sent Delinda a beautiful necklace covered her and covered her room with wildflowers, but I've heard nothing back from her. This It could have been worse. I start planning the next move. Still working on my ex-wife who hates my guts. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to raise up my own levies. 
and I'm going to take these Vikings out, and then we'll come and join back up. Uh, it's also kind of important if, in case somebody else just suddenly comes into the war. And all I have is my retinue up there, and that's actually happened to me before. Okay, this is me leading it. I don't... not a very damn good leader. There. Okay, so go in, take these Vikings out. What's happening up here? Did they leave? I think that maybe they left. No, no, they're still there. I don't know what's going on. They're, okay, I see them now. They do have the forces to deal with them. There's about 2,200. Which I wish that they would merge together. There's a 1,700 army, and then there's a 1,232 army they're facing. Uh, there's another 530 army for the 1,700 army. If they merge them together, they have over 2,200. So, gifts of love. I thought some carefully placed words... I thought some carefully placed words where they could easily be overheard by notorious gossips would be more effective than a love letter. Well, the lender clearly got the message for you, so she has started rumors of her own about me. Ingenious, but I won't give up so easily. Me and a horse, I've had it. <laughs> Start planning my next move. I don't know what's going to come out of this. Uh, I, let me see. I hope that she's not hearing this. Yeah. She's not. Apparently not so far. Uh, Cone has been imprisoned by Pope Julius IV. My duke. Oh, I sent him down as a spy master. Can I get him back, please? Uh, nominate bishop. Can I please get him back? <laughs> See if you were the spy master Duke Wigwich of Colon has been trying to learn my new technology advantages. Most unfortunate. His opinion of me is twenty nine. He still likes me somewhat. Okay, uh did they move? And most more importantly, can we siege this place? We are. We have the numbers for it. What is this guy? Oh, the raiders over there. Okay, so what's going up here? Seems like a whole lot of nothing moving back and forth. All right, I arranged for a sent love letters to be left on Delinda's pillow and attempt to woo her. And it seems to have struck true, for she has left one of mine, confessing her attraction to me. Oh ho, time to up the ante. <laughs> I plan the next move. Uh, the Holy War for Carvuna. Byzantine Holy War has ended inconclusively, okay? Can you just attack these guys? Thank you. Okay, now go up. What's this? 2600. Oh, because it's Catholic now, I can go anywhere. I don't have to worry about attrition. I arranged for a sent a love letter, okay, and uh, it's a structure for she left one of mine, confessing her tracks. Oh ho, time to up the ante. Why is that doing the same thing again? I guess we need a new spy master. This guy's 15, it's not bad. Study technology. Oh, 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 no, no, no. We've got a, a faction. Or we did. Okay, we had a faction. I think I uh, kind of bribed him into liking me. Study technology. I don't want to put one back in Rome. Let's put him in Constantinople, an ally. And fabricate a claim while well, he can remain there in Baden. It's all these little Vikings. The, the Duke should be able to chase them out. But he does have one of my dukes. That's the Cone. Duke of Cone. Uh, okay. Some pair carefully placed words where they can easily overhear notorious gops. Okay. Um, Delinda must have gotten my message for I found a lock of hair wrapped in a silk with her personal seal in my bedchambers today. Attracted. She's 75. Attracted. But she's still minus 100. Ha. I shall have her. Start planning my next move. <laughs> it's kind of bizarre. Um, sent her a beautiful necklace and had a room covered with wildflowers. The gamut seems to have paid off. Where I found a magnificent new saddle with her embossed seal in the stables today. Pure, pretty clear symbolism, I say. I start planning my next move. <laughs> That's hilarious. Still sieging this place. It'll take a while. 69%. Yeah, Holstein, you're not going to get away with it. Sorry. Enough of that crap. Uh, sent to Linda a beautiful necklace and covered her room with wildflowers, but I've heard nothing back from her. It could have been worse. Start planning my next move. Raiders coming down. Well, unless they have ships, they're not getting past this. My 
phone saying time's up. And now they're fighting up there. Conquest by rumor. Uh, Dolinda has not responded. I need another tactic. We already have so many kids with her. Uh, who who did we have this with? Okay, the mom. She died. Yeah, nad nad. Whatever the heck you say her name. And then she, the mom was the, our second wife. We asked the goodest. She died. I wish that we kept her. She looks pretty attractive. And Carlotte was with my current or my ex-wife. One, two, three, four, five. With my ex-wife, five children. Yeah, we had five children with her. I'm trying to lure her back. Uh, this woman has been captured. Ransom. So we took one of their counties. War score jumped up to 55%. Belinda has not responded to the love letter I had left on her pillow. I won't give up just yet. This may go on for a long time. I think she's playing me, though. <laughs> I left her for another woman, and she's staying in, in my court, so... <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know, I don't know what, what to make of that. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> oh, oh, that's her mom. I need to go to, to Linda. Uh, doesn't like me so, dislike me so bad. No, at minus 92. She's attracted. It's gone up by 100. Well, we still have 250. We may get 250 because of unfaithful Letcher and I divorced her. Uh... She started rumors of her own about me. Ingenious, but I won't give up so easily. Okay, let's, uh, this is that Holsteiner, Holsteiner army. We're at 88% victory. Destroy this. 100%. Offer peace. Force. Okay, so it, it worked. And we don't have to deal with, uh, putting anybody in uh, power there. Now let's go up to Holstein right here. Sent a beautiful necklace. Um, she put a new saddle, the emboss seal, and the stable stake. Pierce clear symbolism, I say. Is she? Is her likeness of me going up? In fact, I'm gonna star her. What? What is she at? Okay, so attracted has gone down. Was well, at 100 now? It's just plus 25. I don't know what's going on. Kind of weird. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anywhere with her personally. Is there a way to stop? I guess I'd have to change focuses. Anyhow, I'm going to end the video, guys. Uh, we got one county. I'm going to go after Lubeck in the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.